Hi folks, I'm Mark Johnson and our company Artisan Restoration has been um, called to work over at a barn by Chaska that has um, that has got a foundation wall that's collapsed. This, um, this style of barn is called a bank barn and um, I guess that's because it's built into an embankment and the uh, barns usually face uh, to the west or to the south. Um, and anyhow, this barn's probably built in the uh, 1880s or something like that. And it's, uh, it's a, um, a stone wall, but it's put together with basic lime cement. Um, sometimes they call them a rubble wall um, because the stones um, face, there's a there's an inside face and an outside face of uh, stones that are positioned uh, in there so they're flat and they just fill up the inside with rubble and mortar. And anyhow, in addition to um, replacing the concrete wall, we have to um, we have to put some cables in the inside. Uh, the sill log is completely um, rotted out and. Um, and it's a miracle this barn is even standing because it's been like this for almost three years. And the reason it's not collapsed is um, the way it's designed. Um, I'm gonna go up inside the barn here and show you. There's a, there's a row of timbers uh, going right straight down the barn, right below me here. And this barn has, well, the original part of the barn is timber frame. Uh, that end over there is uh, somewhat newer. And that's done with, um, with uh, sawed timbers. But these hand-hewn timbers here are actually supporting the... Um, part of the building where the foundation's missing because this timber here angles down and sits right on a beam that's down in the basement. And we have another um, timber just like that over here. And then we have additional timbers, diagonal timbers, which are supporting the center of the roof. And those are coming down over here. So really the most of the weight that is on that wall is now being carried by these big diagonal timbers and it's uh it's just amazing that it's only uh dropped about i don't know six inches at the eve so anyway um some of our other work is going to involve some cables on the inside here to, uh, because the 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 um, wall above our found missing um, above our missing foundation um, uh, has bowed out a little bit because they cut this big cross timber off here, and the only reason I can think of that is so that when they lifted the hay in here um, with this old hay trolley, they didn't have to lift it up over that uh, cross timber. And this, this thing they put in here, down here, was their only obstacle. And that's kind of holding the walls together right now. But it's not doing as good of a job as the uh, upper timber. So we're going to put a cable up there and, and do some work to pull the uh, structure together. Um, as you can see down there, that cross beam was taken out there also. So anyhow... It's, uh, it's amazing that the whole thing hasn't collapsed, but like I said, the way this barn was built, um, it's, uh, it was almost designed for this type of failure to happen. So um, the next few weeks we'll be replacing the wall and putting in the cables, and I'll give you um, some updates along the way.